Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some mod toss here on Isaac Island. Now, over the last couple of episodes, we have been working uh, quite hard on upgrading our little uh, audibling system. Uh, and I keep calling it an audibling system, even though I know we are doing more than doubling our odds now. But we've been working on our audibling system to the point where this little itty bitty compact machine can now accept all of our odds quadruple them and send them back straight into our AE system for us to use as we please, which if you ask me is pretty freaking awesome. However, there is one little fallback to having such an amazing system that qu can quadruple all of your ores, and that is power. Because if we were to go ahead and have a look at this capacitor bank over here that can hold up to 225 million redstone flux, you will see that it is hovering right around zero. And that is because overall we are losing power right now, and that is not a good thing. Although we spent quite a while buffing up all of our power stuff before we started we still don't have enough power and therefore today what i want to start working on is a little mod that's actually kind of new and one that i haven't really tried yet and that mod is this one here solar flux and for those who don't know this is basically a solar panel mod that's kind of like uh, advanced solar panels advanced solar panels is uh, a mod that adds solar panels for industrial craft they produce eu this one uh, is kind of uh, the, the i guess the advanced solar panels of redstone flux uh, or maybe off thermal expansion i guess and at least produce redstone flux as you can see uh, the way it says generation that that's how much redstone flux they produce per tick, with this first one producing a mere two, which is kind of pathetic, but when you look at it, it's actually really cheap. It's some wood, some redstone, uh, three mirrors, and those mirrors are made of glass and iron. However, once you get up to the highest tier, which is a solar panel version six, this thing produces 4,096 redstone flux per tick, can transfer 32,000 redstone flux per tick, but this thing is extremely hard to make. If you look in here, it requires a bunch of foot of voltic cells as well as some machine frames of the resonant tier as well as a resonance uh, energy cell which in itself is pretty hard to make so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little fiddle with our automated crafting system. Because right now, uh, I've moved some stuff around, but previously, what we had is, if I was to get rid of this, we had this little guy here, the molecular assembler, if I just pick that up, right about there. And basically what we did is we filled this ME interface with recipes. For example, this uh, survivalist generator. And we told the AE system we wanted a survivalist generator. It took all of the stuff out of the AE system, threw it into here, and auto-crafted it. What I want to do today is I want to up the game so that we can produce some of these high-end solar flux, uh, solar panels, I guess, uh, and actually get a bunch of power using those. Because if you have a look, uh, they actually kind of, in order to make this higher tier one, you basically need a lot of the lower tier ones. Because if you look at tier two, to make tier two, you just need eight of the tier one ones and a redstone reception coil for tier three you need four of the tier two ones uh, and therefore a bunch of the tier one ones for tier four and you get it it goes backwards and forwards you need four of those four of those and four of those and if you do the math there that means that you need 2048 of these basic solar panels in order to make the solar panel version six which is pretty freaking insane because that means that that would be one hell of a grind if you were to try and make all of those by hand which is why we're not we're not we don't want to grind we want to do easy the easiest way we can so what we're going to do is we are going to auto craft so let's go ahead and throw down a couple more molecular assemblers now you can add more than one interface to a molecular assembler for instance i'm going to put these here 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 and here for instance this uh, me interface here could go and we are gonna have to grab our axe real quick from this little golden bag of holding that we made during last episode but uh, if i was to do something like this and this and you were to ignore the blatant holes in the wall and we were to do something like this and this this interface here can work on this molecular assembler and so can this one and i can do another one i guess here and therefore, we can start, I believe it's up to nine recipes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so you can have nine recipes in each of these uh, interfaces. You can actually put them on all six sides of this thing, giving a grand total of 54 recipes per molecular assembler, which means we can start a bunch of crafting recipes into this thing if we have enough channels for it, which, again, if you ask me, is kind of cool. So, what I'm going to do to start with is we should probably go ahead and hook this up to the AE system. That would probably be a good place to start. And apparently, we just broke a door somewhere. And apparently, that's a cable. But we can work around that in a second. Let's go ahead and just do this for now. And we'll make it look nice in a little bit. Let's grab some ME glass fiber cable. Like so. They changed the name of it in this one. I keep typing in fiber cable. And it's not fiber cable at all. It's ME glass cable dash fluix. I'm not quite sure uh, what was with the name change. Uh, the name change there. But apparently, that was a thing. So let's do this, this. We're not going to be able to go around there. So for now, uh, 
I guess what we could do is uh, is grab some Emmy conduits from Ender.io if we have some lying around. We do have one. Wow, look at that for uh, perfectness. Would that work? I think it does. I think we just got to put that down again. Yeah. Uh, I Come on, Bobby. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, let's try... That looks like it works. They're a bit dubious. Uh, I know these have been known to cause problems right now. They're not extremely stable. But I think this is working. Maybe. So I'm going to kind of leave it there for now. And one more really cool thing that we're going to make before we get into some of the, uh, some of the like, uh, creating the, the, the patterns is we're going to make what's known as an Emmy crafting interface. And not an Emmy crafting interface. I'm just talking out my backside now. We are going to make... If we go ahead and type in interface, I was kind of close. We are going to make this guy over here, the Emmy interface terminal. This thing, really easy to make, uh, an illuminated panel, an Emmy interface, and an engineering process. And once we grab one of these, we can go ahead and set it up, say, right about here. And hopefully we have enough channels for that. Come on, turn blue, please. Please? Please, please turn blue. Yeah, yeah there we go. Nice. It's probably turned something else off. Round the yeah, it's turned that off. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> We're probably gonna need that wood. Okay, okay. Let's go and I guess put this downstairs somewhere. That should be fine. We have a bunch of channels lying around. Let's, for the time being, put this. Doo -doo -doo. I don't want to put it there. Maybe over here. That made the sound twice there, but it didn't go anywhere. Uh, that should work. And basically what this allows us to do is access all of the inscribers, all of the chargers, and uh, most importantly, all of the molecular assemblers inside our AE system, which is kind of cool, because it means that what we can do is if we were to, say, grab uh, not one of you, one of these, one of these patterns, we could just throw it in here like that, and it actually, uh, like, uh, recognizes that it's part of the system, and, and we'll jump ahead and connect it up. Now, I don't know if those two have been connected and recognized. Um... Let me try, real quick, doing something like this. Because it didn't quite look like we had all of the patterns, all of the space in there that we should have had. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe? I am not quite sure. I think that seemed to have worked. Um, let's see. Let's see. If we were to pull... Okay. Okay. Let's, let's test this. If we were to pull, say, you out of there and stick it in there, what does that do? Where does that move it to? Does that move it to over here? It didn't move it to there. Okay. For th okay, so for some, real, uh, for some reason, it's decided to label uh, the bottom two there as uh, tile.multiplayer bracket two, and the other two as molecular assemblers. Not quite sure what that is, but as long as they both work, I'm more than fine with that. And so, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go ahead, and this is kind of where it becomes a bit of a pain. Um, ah, yeah, this is where it becomes a real pain. I'm going to have to take this back, on. I? Yeah. Okay. What will... Uh, what? 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 Uh, what? What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, there you go. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do for now, okay, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to allow the wood to be turned off. And what I'll do is I'll move this as soon as we finish. Because the idea is here that I'm going to go ahead and make... <laughs> I'm just placing this in all the wrong places today. Give me that back. I'm going to put this here, like that. And we're going to make ourselves some patterns. So if we were to go ahead and type in pattern, not like that like that, and make uh, a couple of these, as many as we can, once we get some of that quartz glass, like so, and uh, preferably a bit more than four, there we go, and let's go ahead and make a couple of those, that gets us, ah, come on, you're not supposed to use this terminal for crafting, let's go ahead and make six of those, apparently I think that's the end of our glowstone, so we probably, no it's not, why, why you do this to me, A system, is that the end of our glass, it is, we need more glass, okay, come on then, let's make some more glass, we need more glass, okay, that would be why it's not working. Let's, okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of you, and let's go back to our good old system. We'll throw you in there. We'll take you out. We'll throw you in there. And basically, what I'm going to do, guys, is for the first sort of couple of tiers of the solar panel, from, uh, I'll type in solar flux, so I just get the ones I'm after. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm basically going to teach this system how to make them. So I'm going to do that. For this, I am going to need a little bit of glass. I'll take you and, of course, turn you back to a normal glass. And what we're going to do is go boom, 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 and to teach you how to make the mirrors, like that. And now it knows how to make them. We're also going to teach it how to make this, like so, with some, uh, with some mirrors. Actually, we're going to need mirrors in order for that to work. I think you have to have at least one of them in the system in order for it to, uh, to to register there. So let's do that and then encode. And now the hardest part about this, actually this isn't all that hard at all to be fair. Uh, so we are going to need to make one of these. Which we currently cannot do. But what we can do is we can actually throw these into here. 
And then if we had the glass, they should be able to make them. But uh, one thing we are going to do before I cut away, actually, is I'm going to teach my system how to make glass. Because, my gosh, is our system terrible at having glass. We never have any glass. It's always the thing that we have to fumble around for. So I'm going to make my system. Uh, well, I'm going to make it. I'm going to teach it how to make glass. And for that, I'm going to grab myself an alloy smelter, one I made earlier. A sag mill, one I made earlier. And I'm also going to grab some, uh, some capacitors, again, some that I made a little bit earlier, some Octodate capacitors, and as well as some import buses from uh, Applied Energistics Import, not Import. Import buses, we're going to grab two of those we don't need all four just yet. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick these right about here for the time being. And you may be wondering, Isaac, why did you make two more interface, uh, two more of these? You have them upstairs, and you kind of see why in a second. But basically, what we're going to have is... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a mob farm downstairs. Um, okay. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook this up, uh, as usual, to our little uh, ME controller over here, like this. And on the bottom of all of both of these, we're going to have an import bus that is infested with creepers, apparently. Is that going to just let me drop down by one? It is. <laughs> I hope they don't attack me. And I'm going to put an interface there and there. And we're going to hook these up like that and like that and like that. And now both of those have import buses on the bottom. Which means if we were to go in and set the bottom of these like this. Which we right click and set it to push like that. And the same with this one. Configure I.O. Uh, use the right mouse, the left mouse button there to make to move it around. And then the right mouse button to switch it to push. Basically anything that gets made in here. So for instance, uh, we are going to need some power in there actually. So... Where is the nearest cable line? It's there. Let's do something, I guess, for now, like this. Now, hmm. This is going to be a bit of a pain because we do need to connect some uh, A conduits to the top of that. And let's go ahead and quickly make ourselves a couple more conduits, which I think, I think we could do. I did make a couple more of this alloy. We did. Nice. Okay. Let's grab a bunch of you. A 64 should last us for quite some time. And I guess for the time being, let's just do this. Move up. You know, this guy is causing me more, more trouble than he is helpfulness. If I was to go ahead and throw this into here, it should go ahead, smelt up, and instantly end up in our AE system. Yes, there we go. Okay, it went into the A system. So let's go ahead and throw some capacitors into there and into there. And basically what we're going to do with these is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab some interfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, I guess for now, you and you. I'll go ahead and make some more uh, in just a second here. I'm going to craft those into these uh, little ones. You don't need to do this little one. Uh, I just kind of like to have them on top of my machines like this. And we're going to, again, we're going to hook this up with some A cable again for now. Uh, actually, no, we'll go around the back. We'll make it look a little bit nice, I guess. Uh, here we go. And I didn't realize there was such a gap there. Wow. We're going to go, and we don't need to do both. We're going to do something like that. We can get rid of uh, that little cable there. And basically, what we can do now is we can do something very similar to what we're doing with the molecular assembler. And basically, what this is going to allow us to do is put a, a, put a pattern in here that basically says if you import, say, uh, sand into the alloy smelter, you will get glass back. And what we're going to do to, to, to guarantee that is there's a little button down here called furnace mode. We're going to set this to furnace only, which means if we do put glass in there, we're going to, uh, sorry, sand in there, we are going to get normal glass back and not the uh, sort of the alloy glass that you get from Ender.io. So, let's see. Do we have any sand? We do. It's over in here. I'm going to take some sand. We're going to take some cobble. And we're going to teach our AE system to do this. So the first thing we're going to teach it is in here, we're going to teach it that we're going to make sure we change from crafting to processing because we are doing a process. It's not crafting anymore. And we're going to teach it that cobble makes sand. Okay? And encode. So we've taught it how to make sand. And then we're going to go ahead and do we have any glass? We do. We're going to teach it that sand makes glass. And again, encode pattern. And now... If we were to go ahead and fly along downstairs, we can stick the one for uh, glass into here. So sand equals glass and the one for cobblestone uh, for sand into here. And now if we were to look into our AE system at sand, for instance, we now have a recipe for sand. If we were to look at cobblestone, how much do we have? We have, uh, let's see, 1,367 cobblestone. So let's go ahead and let's request some glass. Uh, it's a typical day. We've run out of glass. All 42 is in our inventory here. We're going to go ahead and request 64 glass and click next and then start. And if we go back to the cobblestone, 
You'll see that he grabbed it from there. He's got less cobblestone now. The cobblestone is being turned into sand automatically, which is then getting put into the alloy smelter, turned into normal glass, and sent back to our AE system, which is flipping amazing because it means that we never have to worry about glass again. We never again do we have to grab it from here, throw it in there, move it from there, move it into here, and just wait for the whole process to complete. We don't have to do that anymore. It's done. It's finished. We can sleep easy once again, knowing that we never have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and do this and do that and grab a solar panel. And then I guess we could teach our system how to make these tier two solar panels if we indeed had one of these. We could do something like that. And again, encode. Come on, encode. Oh, we need uh, that one. Crafting, make sure you turn it back. Uh, there we go. We can make it teach it how to make the tier two ones. And then the tier the, the tier three ones are kind of where it gets a bit confusing, but it's actually not all that bad. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go away. I'm going to teach it how to make this. Uh, I'm going to teach it uh, how to make this one. I'm going to teach it how to make this one. And then I'm going to teach it how to make this one. Because, again, even this one's not too bad, uh, requiring only some uh, st basic stuff. Uh, and then we'll come back once we get to this tier. Because then we have to teach it how to make redstone energy cells. And they are kind of funky. They require a bit of, uh, a bit of work because it, it requires a fluid transposer, which is a little bit different to some of the other stuff. So I'm going to do that, guys. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so quite a long time later. And uh, we've... No. Okay, so quite a long time later, and I've come to a little realization that we may, just maybe, have bitten off a little bit more than we could chew, trying to shoot for the solar panel version 6 straight away, because uh, I managed to get all the way up to the version 3. We can also craft this now, which is kind of awesome. But uh, when I tried to go to the version 4, we ran into a couple of uh, materials that we just don't have enough of. The first one, surprisingly, being clay. We don't have anywhere near enough clay in order to auto craft a bunch of these. Uh, some of the ones that we don't have really enough of is obsidian. Glowstone, we don't have, we have like a bunch of obsidian, we have 64, 62 stacks and 12, which is a lot, but as soon as you start auto crafting big amounts, that goes away pretty quickly, glowstone, we have like 12 of or something ridiculous now, uh, 39, and then finally, blaze rods, blaze rods are again, something that we don't really have a whole ton of, we actually don't have any blaze rods, so what I think I'm going to do over the next couple of episodes, or maybe just next episode, is try and automate the production of all of those things, and maybe try and get the actual auto crafting of the solar panel version 6 up and running, because that would be pretty pretty freaking awesome but for now what we can do is go ahead and type in solar and we should not get attacked that wasn't an attack that was hunger jeez we should get ourselves a really good source of food so we don't have to eat like 50,000 apples in order to, uh, to to feed us but we should i think be able to craft uh, a solar panel because if we go over here and have a look we do have the uh, the tier three solar cell right there so i think why? Why you no show up? Why? Why? Come on now. Okay, not quite sure what happened there, but I did a quick relog, and it seems to have worked. We now have access to the tier 3 solar panel. Like I said, no idea what happened there, but if we were to go ahead and request, say, 4, because that's how many we need for the next tier up, you can see that he's going to do a ton of a crafting, and apparently we're missing some stuff there. That is because I went ahead and reattached that real quick, but if I was to do that again... And go ahead and type in four. Next. It should have everything it needs. And if we press... Oh, what are we missing? Oh, it needs 4,923 bytes. Which I think might just outdo our system. Uh, we have a 4K... Uh, actually, I think it should be fine. Let's uh, really quick go ahead and make another 4K system. Just to, uh, to bump that up a little bit. Was kind of hoping we'd have all that stuff. Apparently not. Let's have a look. Calculation process. Please make me one of those. Missing the pure set of squads crystals. No. No. Okay, let's try... Let's try to the 1K. Maybe just adding a 1K storage system might, might work. No. 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 Well, <laughs> I think... The problem there is this has uh, 4,096 bytes, I want to say, in total. And the crafting thing, uh, the crafting chain for this, like all the stuff he's going to have to calculate up. Uh, did that... Wait, what? Oh, we need, if we're going to make four, the thing, it needs 4,923. So I guess what we could do is split up into two smaller tasks and just do two at a time. That would be able... We'd be able to do that. We press start. The support is the same. It just means you have to split up into two. We will... I'll probably work... I'll try and fix that uh, problem we're having with the calculation process because that one's a bit of a pain. But you can see it's going ahead. It's storing in all the cobblestone. It'd be making a bunch of glasses, crafting it, uh, scheduled to craft 154 glass. So uh, if we were to head down here, you'll see it making a ton of glass right now. Look at that cobblestone being sent through and uh, this stuff being 
been sent through as well. We are getting some extra gravel from there again, which is, is pretty nice, I guess. Uh, and that's all doing its thing. And in a while, it might take quite a while, but uh, in a while, we will have ourselves the uh, the tier three solar panel, which is pretty nice. Not the best solar panel in the world, but we're getting on our way to making some of the highest tier solar panels in the game. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. Tell me down in the comment section below what you thought of the video and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.